so. Yep. Okay, Brendan. Just as a refresher, my name is Tom Fassbender and Mark Weger. Do you remember us from the last couple times we've talked to you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and from the signs in here, you can see that this is being audio and video recorded again, okay? Mm -hmm. We just have to get some things on the record, um, and you need to tell me if they're true. I was told by your attorney, Mr. Len Kaczynski, that you uh, wanted to talk to us. Is that true? You need to talk because it's being recorded if you could please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was also told that uh, Mr. Kaczynski spoke with you about this. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kaczynski also told us that uh, no promises were made to you on behalf of the state. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because obviously you're in custody, we're going to go through that Miranda warning again. You remember that? Yeah. Okay. I've got a form here I'm going to use, and I'm going to go through that. If you have any questions, ask me, okay? Yeah. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense before or during questioning if you so wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning and to remain silent at any time you wish, and the right to ask for and have a lawyer present at any time you wish, including during questioning. Would you like to read those over? Do you understand each of these rights? Yeah. Realizing that you have these rights, are you not willing to answer questions or make a statement? Okay, what I'd like you to do for me is that was, do you understand each of these rights? Initial there, and initial there, that you're willing to make a statement, and then I need your signature there, okay? <clears throat> I heard you were going to watch a movie last night. What movie did you watch? What was a movie? It was, it was wrestling, but I only got to watch 15 minutes of it. How come? Because it ended at 9 o'clock, and we got done at 8.45 almost. Oh, okay. Big wrestling fan. Is it all star wrestling? I think there is any more all star wrestling. Or whatever they call that. Professional wrestling? Yeah. Okay, I just want to remind you that again, this is being recorded and audio recorded, and I need you to speak up rather than not if you can. Okay. Okay. And we urge you to, you know, talk to us and tell us, you know, your version again. And what we're, correct me if I'm wrong, what we were told that is you wanted to speak with us um, just to, you know, talk about some clarification of earlier statements, um, some areas where it may have been a little cloudy. Now Mark and I both know probably some of those areas. Uh, we've, we've had obviously an opportunity to look at the evidence and we're familiar with the evidence in the case. And even your last statement, there's some areas that we, we know uh, that you may want to address, and you're probably going to do that because they don't they don't seem to you know necessarily add up. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, because that's why we're here. Again, I'd like to offer you the opportunity now to tell us about some of those things and, and clarify some of those areas for us. We may follow up with some questions. Um, but again, we'd prefer you to just, you know, you know those areas and you know the, the places where you need to uh, finish or clarify. So, again, speak up for us because it is being recorded. And, and go ahead and tell us what, what it was you wanted to tell us. Just 
starting with that day. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's something that's important prior to that day, that's fine too. But as it relates to that event. Well, I came home off the bus and then walked home into the house and I played PlayStation 2 until 5 o'clock, called, called my friend and watched TV and then at 6 o'clock I got a phone call from Blaine's boss I told him that Blaine was trick-or-treating and at 7 o'clock I got a phone call from Steven to see if I wanted to come over to the bonfire and I told him I would and then while I was getting ready he called again and seen where I was what was taking me so long and so I went over there and we went to go pick up some stuff around the yard and after that we he asked me to come in the house because he wanted to show me something and he showed me that she was laying on the bed her hands were ro rolled down to the bed and her legs were cuffed and then he told me to have sex with her and did because I thought I was not going to get away from him because he was too strong. So I did what he said and then after that he untied her and uncuffed her and then He brought her outside and before he went outside he told me to grab her clothes and her shoes. So I went into the garage and before she went out, when before he took her outside he t had tied up her hands and feet. and went in the garage and he stabbed her and then he told me to and After that, he wanted to make sure she was dead or something, so he shot her five times. And while he was doing that, I wasn't looking because I can't watch that stuff. So I was standing by the big door in the garage. And after that, He took her outside and we put her on the fire and we used her clothes to clean up the, some of the blood.
when we put it in the fire and it closed, we were standing right by the garage to wait for it to get down so we threw some of the stuff on it after it went down. And then about nine o'clock my mom came home and she called Steven on his cell phone to tell him that I was supposed to be home at ten o'clock and she asked even if I had a sweater on. So while we waited for the fire to go down, by the time it did get down, it was probably close to 10 o'clock, so he told me to go home. So I did and then got in the house and I talked to my mom for a little bit then went to bed. Anything else? No. What about the truck? Her truck? I never seen it. Never seen it. Was yeah. never seen it that day. Why don't we go back to the beginning a little bit, <coughs> Brendan? Let's just clarify. You get off the bus with your brother. Mm -hmm. That's Blaine. Yeah. Okay. And you walk home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's about what time? Three forty-five. And then what do you do when you get home? I go in my room and play PlayStation 2. And where does Blaine go? Goes to the phone. Okay. Is anybody else home at that time? No. Bobby or anybody like that? No. Bobby was, he was bought for hunting. Okay. Well, Brian? He was working. Okay. In previous statements, you had told us that you had left on your bike to go get the mail. Was that true? Mm -hmm. That was a lie? Okay. Did you hear any screaming or anything like you had told us previously? No. Okay, so you get home at 3.45 and you play PlayStation. And you play PlayStation until what time? 5 o'clock. And then what happens at 5 o'clock? Mom gets home, so I talked to her for a little bit, then she left with Scott. Okay. And who's home at this time then? Just me and Blaine. Okay. And what do you do after Mom leaves? Watch TV until Blaine goes up to the road to uh, get picked up from his friend. Is Bobby home yet? Mm -mm. Okay, so Blaine leaves the house to get picked up to go with a friend. And what do you do? I was watching TV until six up or five thirty until I called Travis, and then after that, I got a phone call at six. Well, who called you at six? Blaine's boss. Okay. What's his name? Mike. Okay. Mike what? Cornelli. Okay. So at six o'clock, Mike called? Mm-hmm. And then what? Then I still watch TV after that, and then get a phone call at seven from Steven. On what phone? Home phone? Mm-hmm. And continue again. Then he asked me if 
I wanted to come over to Bonfire. And I said, yeah, and then while I was getting ready, the phone rang again. And it was Steven, and he asked me if I, if I was getting ready. Okay. So what happens next? Then I go over there and we start to pick up the yard with the golf cart. So you go over there, do you go in the house at that time? No. Where do you go? I go right back to the bonfire. Is that where Stephen is? Mm-hmm. And he, when did you decide to go get the golf cart? Well, he had it over there. Oh. Right? Did you hear anything outside at that point? No. Did he tell you anything at that point? Of what he had done already? No. You gotta be honest with us here, Brendan, okay? This is your opportunity to be honest with us. Okay. I look at it this way, we're giving you another opportunity. We didn't need to come back here. And if we sit here and we feel that you're not being honest with you, we may just leave. So you go back by the fire, you said. Is that true or is that not true? We don't want you to tell us anything that's not true. I'd rather not, I'd rather have you not tell us anything than to, to sit here and make things up because it's not going to look good for you. You started to shake your head when, we, when Mark just asked you, is that not true if you went back by the fire? Tell us what, what happened. Brent, Brent, look at me. Brent, just look up for a second. It's very important here that you be honest, okay? Tom said, well, we can just walk out the door. But you're the one who wanted to talk with us, okay? So let's let's go back a little bit, okay? What have you lied about so far? Nothing. Okay. So when you go over to the house, do you go inside right away or do you go to the fire? Go to the fire. And what does he tell you? Just that he was going to help. I was going to help him pick up the yard. Did he tell you anything about Teresa at that time? No. All right. We'll continue. Then after we got cleaned up the yard a little bit, and we unloaded the stuff near the fire, and after a while he told me that he wanted to show me something in the house. Did he say what he wanted to show you? No. Okay, so what happens then? Then he brings me in the house and shows well, me. Why do you go in? The one with the uh, cemented stairs. That would be the side door by the garage? Yeah. So be, you know, the reason I ask that question is uh, as much detail as you can provide, do so, okay? Go ahead, continue. Then we go into the house and he shows me that she's laying on the bed. So when you go in the house, I'm just going to stop for a second. You go in the house, you go right into the bedroom? Or you turn left. Okay, and then you went into the bedroom? Okay. Yeah. And she was, no, go ahead and finish what you were saying, I'm sorry. And then she was laying on the bed and he told me to have sex with her. Okay, stop there for a second. You said she's laying on the bed. Is she saying anything? and not listen to Stephen. Okay. So there's nothing covering her mouth? And she's saying to you, not, don't listen to Stephen? Yeah. What else does she say? It's okay. It's a 
it off your chest. What else does she say, Brennan? We know that part hurts. And it, and it hurts to say it. These are the types of detail we need to know, Brendan, okay? What does she say? To, uh, don't listen to Stephen and try to go get help or something. Okay. Is she screaming or anything like that? Is she wearing any clothes when she's on the bed? No. How about socks? No. So she's totally naked? Mm-hmm. What is she tied up to? The bed things. Okay. How is she tied up? Explain that to me. What is what what did he use to tie her up? Her hands were tied up with rope and her feet were cut. Describe the role for us. What well, was just yellow, yellowish? How thick? Do you recall? But you think it was a yellow roll? Mm -hmm. Describe the, the cost for us. Silver and they were leg cuffs. You're saying they were leg irons? They were designed for her legs. Who's were, who's were those? Stevens, I guess. Just uh, just silver, anything else? Describe again, I know this is hard, we asked you uh, the last time, describe her body for us. Including the, uh, her private areas. Start with her hair, what color hair did she have? Brown. How long? Both on to her neck. Any um, scars, marks, tattoos? No. That you recall? No. Did she have acne, pimples, stuff like that? No. Braces? No. Any teeth that were crooked or missing or anything like that? No. Was she bleeding at all? No. Her pubic area. Did she have pubic hair? No. You don't think she had pubic hair? No. In the first interview you said she did, which is right, or don't you remember? If you don't remember something, Brandon, tell us you don't remember. You need to be honest with us here. I don't remember. Okay. Um, did you do you recall seeing her her breasts? No. You don't recall seeing them. Did you touch them? No. Did you have sex with her? Yeah. But you didn't touch her breasts? No. 
And we asked just before, what does sex mean to you? Brennan, what does sex mean to you? When a guy and girl Do you know what the body parts are called? Yeah. Okay. Well, explain that to us. What do you, what do, you do when you have sex? The guy sticks his penis into the girl's vagina. Okay. Is that what you did? Yeah. And were you on top of her? Yeah. So she was underneath you. Where were your hands when you were doing this? On the sides of her. Okay. What did she say to you while you're having sex with her? To stop what I was doing. Do you know what it means to ejaculate? Yeah. Did you do that? No. How long did you have sex with her? About two minutes. Why did you stop? Steve at this time? By the door. What was he saying, if anything? He was saying nothing. Okay, when you're done having sex with her, what happens next? He tells me to grab her clothes and he starts unraveling her. He starts on what? Like on the roping her and that. Oh, okay. And then he ties up her hands and her feet and grabs her. Let's just stop you there for a second. Didn't she try to get away or kick or anything? No. What is she saying during this? Or what's he saying? What's he telling her, Brendan? Come on, Brendan, what's he telling her at this time? There's some talking going on, okay? We, we know that. That he said that he was going to take her to the garage and stab her and shoot her. He actually says that to her? Or does he say that to you, or who's he saying that to? To both of us. And what is she saying when he tells her that? To not do that. Does he have a weapon at this <coughs> time when he's untying her and tying her back up? Well, when he was done roping her, her roped her, he grabbed the gun and then he grabbed her. How did he get her out to the garage? Through the door. No, I mean carrying her or he put her on something or what? Carrying her. Well, how did he carry her? Kind of like, show me how did he carry her. Like this. Did you help carry her? No. You told us last time you did. You told us last time you helped carry her out of the bedroom. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. What's the truth? This one. This one meaning what? 
that he carried her. And what did you take out? Her clothes. What was she wearing? None. What kind of clothes were they? Pants. What kind of pants? Or what color? Or Blue jeans. Okay. And a t-shirt. What color t-shirt? Blue. Are you guessing at that or do you know it was blue? It was blue. Okay. Anything else? Just some shoes. What kind of shoes do you remember? Just that they were black. Where's her underwear? I don't know. You didn't see a bra or panties? Under underpants? No. How did he tie her? What configuration? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did he tie her hands in the front, back, arms, feet? Tell me how he tied her up. In the front. Tied her hands in the front. Did he tie her feet together? Mm -hmm. Did he tie anything else together? No. You said that he took the, the rifle down? The gun? Yeah. Did you carry the gun out in the garage? No. So you want us to believe that he carried a body and a gun at the same time out in the garage? Yeah. Isn't that nearly impossible to do? Unless you give her the gun and then you carry the body? No. Well, show us then how he did that. Well, he had the gun in his hands and he went under her and she was like right here. Okay. We asked you before about the clothes, okay? You're lying to me when you tell me you don't know where the bra and the panties are. Okay, I can tell that. Where are the bra and the panties? I don't know. They didn't just disappear, Brendan. I didn't see them. So she's alive when you carry her out to the garage? And what time is that about? Eight thirty-five. Why thirty-five? Why do you know it's eight thirty-five? Because we were into the living or the in the bedroom at eight eight fifteen. And how do you know that? Because there's a clock right by the door there. And again, how do you know it was 8.35 when you went out to the garage? Brendan, you want to be honest with us, don't you? Okay. Then just tell us what you know. Be honest. You need to get this off your chest, don't you? Just be honest with us, okay? How do you know it's 8.35 when you go in the garage? Or are you guessing? Or, you know, if that's the case, are you estimating the time? What? Tell me. Guessing? Okay. We're not here to try and put words in your mouth or force you to say anything. Okay? So it's all right if you don't know or, or you're guessing. Say that word. Well, I'm guessing that's what it was or... I believe it was blue, I'm not sure, you know, you know what I mean? Um, because it's real important that it is your words and your memory and, and that you tell us, because this is potentially your last opportunity to do that. And I think Mark's right, it's, it's the, we think we feel you're doing it for the right reasons and that's because you feel it's the right thing to do. But Mark and I also, you know, we'll be talking to your attorney. We have to tell your attorney, Len, that, that we feel like you, you did tell us the truth. You did tell us everything. And that's important, too. Because you know we have evidence about a lot of this stuff, right? You're aware of that? Yeah. And the evidence will tell us if you're lying or not. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, where's your truck when you go into the garage? I didn't see it. But at some point, she's in that truck. We know that. Okay? Bleeding. So you can't say you didn't see the truck or know where the truck was because she had to be in that truck after she was bleeding, okay? That's just the way it is. And I'm not going to sit here and let you lie to me. You need to be honest here. We just went through that. Mark and I don't want to leave because we feel you deserve this opportunity. Because you're the one that came forward initially with this information. But we're not going to sit here and listen to this. Now, sometimes you tend, you, you seem to be honest about some parts, and then for some reason, then you're not totally honest about other parts. And it may be because those other parts bother you a lot. And we understand that. And then it can be difficult to talk about. But we came out here today, you know, Saturday morning, because we wanted to give you that, that chance, because you said you wanted to talk. We know you were involved in this. There's no question about that, but we're just looking for the detail. So we can, you know, so we match everything up with the evidence and, and so we can believe what you're saying. Do you understand that? Yeah. Brendan, you have the opportunity here to do the right thing for a change, okay? You have the opportunity to do the right thing for her and her family. Okay? Why don't you take that opportunity and do the right thing? Okay? You want to do that? You want to do the right thing? Yeah. Okay, then tell us the truth. Then start with the truck. That's a good place to start. There's other places we're going, but the truck is a good place to start. Tell us the truth about the truck. It was backed into the garage. Okay. So let's start with when you bring her out to the garage. Where do you put her? On the floor. And continue. Tell us what happens. And then he stabs her and they told me to. And then he puts her into the jeep and then he said he would rather burn her. So then he put her back on the floor and then he shot her five times. Where does he stab her? In the chest. Show me where. Like right here. Where do you stab her? In her stomach. What does she say when you stab her? To stop what I was doing. What's that? Is she screaming? Yeah. Is she screaming and saying stop what you're doing? Is she swearing at you? Is she struggling? What? Tell us how that happened. Just that she was crying a lot. Are you holding her down? No. Who is? Steven is. Okay, Steven goes out and puts her on the floor in the garage. Where does he get this knife that he stands her with? Truthfully. From the garage. So that this knife's in the garage. Do you remember the drawing you made of that knife? Mm -hmm. Was that an accurate drawing? Or is it different? Very important. It was something like that. What color was it? Black. Black handle. Where's the gun at this time? In the garage. 
we set it somewhere. Where in the garage did you get the knife from? From in the back of the, you know, because he's got like a workshop in the back. Yeah. It was laying on there. So she's laying on the garage and he goes and gets the knife. And then what did he do? He walks back over by her and then stabs her. How and does he stab her? Does he get on top of her? What does he do? He kneels down by her. Is she fighting now? Brendan? A little bit. What's he telling her? Is he telling her anything? No. And he stabs her in the chest. And where you showing Mark and I, that would be where? What's underneath there? What organ is in that area? Any organ in particular? Not that at all. Where's your heart located? Over here. Over there. But he stabbed her right in the middle of the chest? Mm-hmm. Does he hand you the knife then? Or how do you get the knife? He told me to, to stab her. And so how do you get the knife? He hands it to me. Is there blood on the knife? Yeah. You told us in another interview that you cut her throat. Did you cut her throat? No. Why did you tell us that? Brendan, why did you tell us that? Too nervous. Okay, are you nervous now? A little. Well, what's the truth? Tell me what the truth is. They stabbed her in the stomach. Okay. Brendan, you know people get nervous when they when they lie. Okay. So you stabbed her in the stomach. Is she alive? You said Stephen stabbed her first. Is she still alive when you stabbed her? She wasn't moving. Was she talking? Were her eyes open? Anything like that? You know? Did you see her breathing? No. Was there any gurgling going on? Anything like that? No. How deep did the knife go in when Stephen stabbed her? No. How do you know he stabbed her? Simple question. Because after that, when he told me he was a stab her, there was a hole in her stomach. In her stomach? There was a chest. Did he tell you where to stab her? No. You just stabbed her in the stomach. How deep did you put the knife in? Like three inches. Show us with your fingers. About that deep? What did it feel like when you did that? I mean, did you hit anyone when you went into her? No. Take my pen and show me what you would, how you did it. Right. And how many times? Once. Did you leave the knife in or did you pull the knife out of the butt? I pulled the knife out. Okay. And then what, what happened to the knife? 
I gave it back to him. And then what happened to the knife? He just had it on the floor. Where's the knife now? Oh, you know. Just tell us where the knife is. Honestly. What did you guys do with the knife? It's important. We put it into the Jeep. What Jeep? Hers. Okay, and then what? And then... After that, he took the gun and shot her five times. Okay, and where did he shoot her? Where in the body? I don't know. Why don't you know? Because I wasn't looking. Well, you shot her too. Brendan, did you shoot her? No. You sure? <clears throat> I think you did. I never touched the gun. The first time you told us uh, ten times, about ten times, that he shot her, and he told us where he shot her, were you lying then or are you lying now? I was lying up, uh, then. Why? Why are there ten shell casings or more on that garage floor? Well, there's gun shells all over the place, though. Were there gun ca shell casings before you took her in there?
You guys did some other things to her. Just tell us. I didn't do nothing else. Okay, what did else did Steve do? You showed her what you do next. I didn't shoot her. Okay, after Steve shoots her, what do you do next? He sets the gun down. Okay. Then what? Then he takes her out to the fire and then puts her in the fire and then he came back to the garage and... Okay, stop. I know that's not true. You're forgetting something. After you guys shoot her, she's on the ground in the garage, right? On the floor? Mm -hmm. Where... What do you do with her after that? decides to take her out to the fire. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. he use that creeper thing? No. Why did you tell us that? No. Did you help him take her out to the fire? No. When he came back from the fire, he had put her on the fire. Now you come back from the fire, or he does, what do you guys do? You start to clean up the blood. The Jeep's still in the garage. Her Jeep. Yeah, okay. And what do you use to clean up the, the blood? The clothes. Any, anything else? Bleach. Gas and paint and was there a lot of blood on the floor? In your estimation, was there a lot of blood on the floor? Yeah. Did your did her clothes get pretty soaked with it? Yeah. No. Those jeans that we took out of your house, were those the jeans you used that night? Yeah. You were wearing? Yeah. And what jacket were you wearing? I didn't have a jacket on. You didn't. What kind of shirt were you wearing? Do you remember? Do you remember what shoes you were wearing? Not really. After 
you clean up the garage, then what do you guys do? We take the clothes and we throw, throw it in the fire. Continue. And then we wait for a little bit, then we throw the rest of the stuff on. What's the rest of the stuff? The van seat and the cabinet. Okay. Then what do you do? We wait for it to go down. What about the Jeep? The RAV4. We, we know certain things happen. But we also don't want you to lie to us or make anything up. What happened to the RAV4? He took it on the pit. Did you go with him? No. Last time you told us you went with him. How did your DNA get in the truck? It ain't. How do you know that? Because I never went in it. So he drives the truck down there himself? I don't think so. Brendan, did you help him take the truck down there? If you did, so what? I did. Where were you when he did that? I was at home. You went home home to your house? Mm -hmm. Who was home? My mom. See, I can't believe that now. I'm sorry. Your mom wasn't home. Your mom was at Scott's. Do you want us to walk out of here? Is that what you want? Then quit lying to us. First verse you say you went down and into the pit with Stephen with the RAV4. You saw some things down there. You told us about those things. Where'd you come up with that? You told us that Steve took the license plates off the vehicle. You told us that Stephen went under the hood of the vehicle. Would you just grab that out of the air? How do you know those things? Just guessing. Your mom's not home. Why did you just lie about that? Well, you didn't. He didn't take the Jeep down right away. When did he take the Jeep down? Well, he told me he was going to take it at night time. You Ten helped him, didn't you? No. Ten o'clock is night time. What do you mean by night time? He said after the fire would go down, he would take it down to the pit. And I said that I was at home. And who was home? Just my mom. Where's Bobby? He was over, he was, he slept over by his friend's house. When Blaine get home? At 11.30. How much blood did you have on you? Again, grab, take this pen like it's a knife, okay? Show me how you stabbed her and how hard you stabbed her. Right here. I mean, how hard did you do it? That's it? I don't think so. You do that, you're not going to pierce the skin. Be honest here. How hard did you stab her? Show me. Okay. Now 
you do that, you know what happens? Blood spurts out, right? So where did the blood go on you? Where did you have blood on you? My pants and my hands. How did you get that blood off your hands? Washed it off. You know I can tell when you're lying to me, Brendan? Your voice changes. I've been doing this job a long time along with Tom, okay? You can't fool us, okay? You can't continue to lie and expect us to believe this. Do you think you're that smart that you can fool us? Brendan? Do you want to talk with us and tell us the truth? Yeah. Okay, then tell us the truth. Where did that knife go? It was in the Jeep. Okay, we'll give you that. It was in the Jeep. What did Stephen say he did, it after, did with it after that? He didn't tell me nothing about it. What, what happened to her underwear? That we know, we know. No, I don't. You do? I didn't see him. The first time we talked to her, the second time you talked about cutting her hair off. Where'd the hair go? Did you cut her hair off? Yeah. Where'd that happen? In the, in the bedroom. What'd you cut the hair off with? The knife. The knife you guys found in the garage? Doesn't make sense. It's impossible. You took her out to the garage and that's when you got the money. Explain how that can be. Did you cut her hair off? Then why did you just tell us she did? Brendan. Oh. Didn't you ask us to come here and talk to you? Yes or no? Yeah. Why did you ask us to come here? So you could lie to us? So you could tell us the truth? When are you going to start that? What do you think your mom would say if she knew you were sitting here lying to me? Oh. You think she'd be okay with that? No. Do you remember what your mom said in court last week? Okay, should I refresh your memory? Your mom said that Brendan doesn't lie and that Brendan never lies to police officers. Remember her saying that? Yeah. Okay. So when I walk out this door right now and I go call your mom and tell her that you've been lying to me, what do you think she's going to say? I think she'll be mad at you? from? Where did you get the knife from? 
in the kitchen. Brother, I'm going to tell you what. I've just about had enough and I'm going I'm to leave. I'm going to take Mark with me. Um, and we're going to talk. And if Mark can convince me to come back in, if that's what he even wants, we'll come back in. It's going to give you a moment to think about it. If we come back in, he's telling us the truth. We're going to take you through it if we come back in. You're going to tell us the truth and we're going to ask you some tough questions. And if you changed your story between them, we're going to ask you why. Because that's important. Okay? What he's saying is you got one opportunity left. You understand that? You gonna take that opportunity? Think about it. You've got one more chance to tell the truth, or we're done. Got it? Do you want a soda or water or anything? One more opportunity if I can convince him to come back.
talk to you one more time, okay, and give you the opportunity again. But, you know, this is going to be the last opportunity you have, okay? You understand that? You just need to sit back, relax a little bit, okay? I know you're a little, you're a little tense, right? Can you relax for me? Sit back, relax, we're going to go through this again. But this time, you need to be honest and truthful, because if you don't, we're leaving. You understand that? Your mom told me you'd be honest with me. Don't let your mom down. You have an opportunity here to do one last thing for Teresa. And that's by me coming clean on this. And your mom told me that you would. And I haven't called her yet to tell her that you lied to me, but I will do that. What do you think she's going to say to you? It's going to be bad. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I want you to be honest with me, okay? So let's sit back, let's relax, let's start over again, okay? Take a big breath. Take a big breath and let it out, okay? Can you look up at all? Why not? Why can't you? You feel better just leaving your head down? All right, well, then we'll do that. First of all, Brendan, were you involved with the murder of Teresa Hallock? Yes or no? Yes. Who else was involved with it? Stephen. Stephen who? Avery. Anybody else? No. Okay. That's the hard part. You've already admitted it. Okay? That's over. You know, the rest of it is just details. It's stuff you don't have to lie about now. Think about that. You don't need to lie about anything anymore. You don't need to lie about anything. We know you've lied to us in the past, right? But you don't need to do that anymore. You've already admitted that you're involved in it. That's the hard part. It's over. So now the easy part comes. You just tell us what happened. That's all. Just tell us what happened. Do this one last good deed in your life for Teresa. For Teresa's mom. We told her that you'd be honest with us. Don't let her down. Okay? Can you do that? If you can't, tell me. We'll leave. You need to talk to me, though. Talk to me. Can you do that? Can you be honest? Yes or no? Yes. Do you want to be? I can't hear you. Yeah. Are you going to be? Yeah. And do the right thing here. Let's talk. Tell us what happened. Where should I start? Let's start at the beginning. Come home from school. Came home from school and walked down the road to our house, went inside, and I played PlayStation 2 until 5 o'clock while Blaine was on the phone and mom came home and I talked to her for a little bit and she left with Scott and at 5.30 Blaine left and I watched TV until Just estimate. If you don't know the time, say about. About 5.45. And I called Travis. And after I was done with that, I watched a little TV and then I answered the phone and was playing boss, Mike. You sure about that? I don't think that's true. And you know why I think it's not true? Why? Because we looked at the phone records. We've got all your phone records. 
We've got every record there is. Everybody's phone. Everybody who lived out by you, every friend, every relative, every boss. I've got a file drawer as big as this room, three of them full of information in this case, so I know when you're lying. You need to realize that. I know when you're lying. Did he actually call you? The details are easy, Brendan. No. Okay. Then why did you say he called? He was one of the days he did. Did he call you that day? No. Then why did you say it? I don't understand why you're lying. You told me you wanted to be truthful with me. You told me I could tell your mom that you were honest. Can I do that now? You just lied to me. So, the <coughs> truth is, you were over by Steve's earlier. That's the truth. Isn't it? Yeah, what time did you go by Steve? You know what, you know what, Brendan? Mm -hmm. He's going to tell his version of the story. You know what that version is going to be? What do you think it's going to be? It's going to be that Brendan did all this. He doesn't want to go to prison. He doesn't give a shit about you. It's going to be Brendan, Brendan, Brendan. So this is your opportunity to be honest and tell the truth. Are you going to do that or not? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, then tell me the truth. I went over there like at four o'clock. Why did you go over there? You had the stuff planned out already, didn't you? You and Steve had this planned? Yeah? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, when did you plan it? For a few days. Okay. What did you have planned? Tell me what you had planned. Come on. Brendan, did you have this plan? Yes or no? Yes. Who did you plan it with? Steven. When? A few days before it happened. Okay. And what did you have planned to do? The details are easy. Come on. You already gave me that you were involved in it. So just fill in the details. Paint the picture for me. Obviously I know already. I know a bunch of this already. I keep proving that to you. Details are easy. Just tell me what you guys planned, what you did. No sweat. There is sex with her. Well, let's back up a second. You said you planned this a couple days earlier. Is that true or not? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So where did you plan this? By Steve's house or your house or in the car or what? Up north? What? In Steve's house. Okay. And what did you guys plan to do? What was your plan? Talk to me here. What was your plan? We did because Stephen wanted to go back to jail. Did he tell you he wanted to go back to jail? Yeah. Because you missed it. He didn't tell you that. Did he? Did he tell you that? Yes or no? Brendan, I'm just going to say one thing, and, and Mark's going to continue to talk to you. I know that a lot of your relatives and friends have told you things, Travis, 
Stephen, through Ma, Jody, and you got a lot of a lot of different things going through your head, a lot of different versions of things, and the truth. The truth, I don't know if it means a lot to you, but you know what the truth is. And it's important that you tell us the truth because at least someone might think it means something to you. You've got to discount, you've got to forget about everything, all these people telling you what happened, what to say, what not to say. Put all those out of your head and just tell us the truth. Because we can't keep saying, we know the truth is you were involved and Stephen was involved, and it was probably planned. But now as Mark takes you through this, you have to let go of all these other things people told you to say. Weren't you here at that time? You were there at that time? This person called? All those, those, those things that, that, that all these people have told you on the phone or through people, and just tell what you know is a fact. Do you know what a fact is? Brendan? A fact is something that's true. That's something that really happened. And sometimes it can get difficult to sort between the facts and everything else that people have been telling you and stories that you might be wanted to make up because it was a, a, a horrible thing that happened. So when Mark starts talking to you before he walks out of here again, you need to just tell him the facts, the truth. Okay? If I walk out, I'm not coming back. Understand? Let's try this again. Did you plan this? You and Steve planned this, yes or no? Yes. When did you plan it? A few days before it happened. Okay, tell me about that day when you planned it. What was it, what did you talk about? What did you plan to do? Told what we were gonna do in that. Well, uh, yeah. What were you? Tell me what the plan was. What were you gonna do? Do you understand what I mean? Okay. When you make a plan, what is that? Like a list of things you're going to do for the day, right? Is that what a plan is? Yeah. Okay. So did you make some type of a list of what you were gonna do that day? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Well, what did you talk about with Steve a couple days prior to? Brendan, what did you talk about? I can't hear you. What did it involve? Just give me an idea of what Steve told you he was going to do. Like how he was going to do it and without someone seeing it. Did he tell you who he was going to do it to? say he was going to do it to? Teresa. Why did he pick Teresa? Because she was coming over that day. Did, they, did he tell you she was coming over? she was coming over? Yeah. And what did he say he was going to do? That he was going to kill her. Did he say why? What 
did he tell you, Brad? That he wanted me to help him. And did you agree to do that? Halloween, October 31st, what happens? On Halloween, October 31st, what happens? I get home from school, go into the house, and while we were, me and Blaine were walking down to the house, we were arguing, seeing who can use the phone first, and he said he was going to call Jason, so he did then. At first he didn't get hold of him, so then he called him later on. Then. Steven. What time did you go by Steven? Four, four o'clock. Did you know that Teresa was there already? Yeah. How did you know that? Because we planned it. Planned it? So when you planned it, did you plan that, you know, if he got the girl that you could get some? Is that the plan? Or was the plan just to kill her, or what was the plan? Tell me what the plan was. Tell me what the plan was. That he just wanted to kill her. Why did he want to kill her? I don't know. Well, what did he tell you? Did he tell you anything? Yes or no? No. He just said he wanted to kill her? Well, just that he was pissed off because Joy wasn't with him anymore. thought that Jody wasn't with him anymore, so then he was going to kill Teresa. Did he talk about plan of having sex with her first? Did he talk about that? No. Okay, so he was pissed off that Jody was in jail, so that's why he's going to kill Teresa. So, okay, you go over the house about 4 o'clock, and you already know she's there. That's what you told me. And what happens when you get to the house? We start to talk. Who's we? Me and Steven. Okay. Good. And what? And... After we're done talking... After you're done talking, he asked me if I wanted to sort of, and then what? He asked you if you want a soda, and then what? said, yeah, and then he went up and got one for me, and he came back and gave it to me, and we sat there drink, we drank, drank it. Where were you? In the living room. Where's Teresa? In the bedroom.
tank after you drank your soda. What did you talk about? Honestly, what did you talk about? Oh, what we were going to do with her. Okay. And what did he suggest? That at night time he would shoot her. Okay, after you have your soda in the living room, what do you do next? We go into the room where she is and talk. And what do you talk about in the room where she is? Well, what else were you going to do to her? Okay, and what else were you going to do to her? Have sex with her. And what do you do after you're done talking about having sex with her? And he said that we would do that later and so he told me to go home before my mom came home and so I did and then when she left and Blaine left he called me and told me to come over and he said that he had a bonfire so we, we went around to pick up the yard and that mm -hmm. and then when we had all the stuff picked up he told me to come in the house and to start what we were planning. Okay. So I did and then... What, which was what? To have sex with her. So you had sex with her at that time? Mm -hmm. Did you take all your clothes off? Yeah. Okay. And so then you like laid on top of her? Yeah. Did you kiss her? No. Did you touch her breasts? No. Did you lick her breasts? No. Well, what else did you do to her? No. Um, well, tell me what you did with her. Just had sex with her. When did Steve have sex with her? Probably between when I was at home. Between the time you left the trailer and came back to the trailer, you think? Did yeah. he tell you that he had sex with her? No. What was Steve wearing, do you remember? Red shorts and a gray t-shirt. What were you wearing? Blue jeans and a sweater. What about jacket? No. What kind of shoes? Do you remember? No. <laughs> Alright, after you come back to the trailer, what time do you think that is about? Do you remember when you had sex with her? About what time? About 8.15. after you had sex with her? Daddy he grabs her and then... Tell me how he does that. You would need to grab her. He ties her up and then... He, <coughs> he grabs her and... You both grabbed her, didn't you? You helped carry her into the garage, right? No. Okay. So he carried her to the garage? Is she alive? Yeah. What is she saying? To stop what we were doing and to let her go. How many times did you punch her? Zero. How many times did Steve punch her?
Stephen was kind of sweaty and stuff. Was he sweaty? Did he tell you that he had already had sex with her that before you got there? No. Was he sweaty? Yeah. And did he tell you that he had already had sex with her once and just gotten done? No. Okay, carry her into the garage. What happens next? Sets her on the floor and then and what? Yeah, he got a knife. And where do you get the knife? No, be honest here. Where do you get the knife from? Well, the knife he had in his pocket because the knife was the one that he uses for work. So it was a pocket knife? Tell me what kind of knife it was before. You said it was a long one. Is that a lie? All right, tell me about the knife. What kind of knife was it? Honestly, tell me what kind of knife it was. It was black with... It was like... I don't know what it was called, but there was like... On the blade, it was like that round thing on the top. Did he have it in his pocket? Yes or no? Yeah. You sure? How big is it? Show me how big it was. Well, eight inches. Show me. How did he have an eight inch knife in his pocket? It was one of them fold up ones. A pocket knife? How many knives are on that? Like how many blades? One. <clears throat> okay, so he took it out of his pocket? Yeah. Draw that knife for me. I'll try. Okay, that's all I can ask. Why don't you do that for me? this round thing you were talking about at the top yeah. that is it is that a hole or a no the thing where you a notch like yeah okay so this folds up mm -hmm. okay no seriously now is this really the knife that he used yeah okay then how come you didn't tell me that before all right so put your name or sign your name down here knife out of his pocket and what happens? Then he stabs her. And tell me again where he stabbed her. In the chest. All right. And then what happens? Then he tells me to come over and stab her. Okay. Do you? Yeah. And where do you stab her? In the stomach. Take this and pretend that's a knife. Put it on the paper. Let's close it first so you don't break it. Do it on the paper like you like you're stabbing somebody, like like you stabbed her. Show me how you did it. How hard? How many times? One. Okay. And then what? Then we take her and we put her into the jeep. Mm -hmm. And he just suggested that he would rather burn her. What? Where in the jeep did you put her? In the back. Okay, then he suggests maybe we should burn her, is that what you said? Okay. And then what happens? Then he took her, set her back on the floor and shot her about five times. Do you remember where he shot her? No. Okay. And then what? Then he took her and
ครับทุกโรสัย and he checked if she was still alive how did he check that see if there was a pulse he checked that when when she was in the garage or when she was outside or where when she was outside okay was there a pulse no okay was he happy about that what was he saying during this well he told me that there was no pulse and okay that he was going to put it on a fire all right then he does he puts her on the fire you helped him though yeah tell me how you did that he had her hands and i had her feet okay did you like swing her like this type of thing or what no he was He was like on one side of the fire, and I was on the other when we set her on it. Okay. Was the fire going already? Yeah. What time was that? Eight fifty. Eight fifty or fifteen? Eight fifty. When Scott comes over by your mom, he says that the fire is going so big it's almost up to the eaves of the house. What time is that? You said you went home when your mom was there, right? Yeah. Were you there when Scott got there? Yeah. And there was a big fire going already. She was already on the fire, wasn't she? Yes or no? I mean, tell me. Was she or wasn't she? No. She was burning tires. Okay. So you put her on the fire. What do you put on top of her? Some tires. How many? Maybe three or four. Okay. Anything else? The wood cabinet and the van seat. Okay. So after you put her in the fire and you put all the stuff on top of her, what do you do next? We wait until most of it's burned and then he swishes it around. How does he swish it around? With a shovel and and a rake. And you helped him with that, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me what you did. I was just moving the ashes and that around. Were you chopping up the bones? Yeah. Who was doing that? He was. Well, show me how he was doing that. He would take the shovel and like bang on the, the bones. And you did that too? Well, it was just swishing the ashes around. What did it smell like? What did it smell like? down you take the shovel and the rake bust up the bones right Is that what you said yeah and then what then we just wait for the fire to go down mm -hmm. and then we went into the garage and cleaned up the blood and that and how did you clean the blood up again tell me again with her clothes Where's her underwear in her bra? Just tell me that. Okay, where is that? Where is it? Is that at your house? Where is it? It's some other stuff that we use to clean up the blood. Her underwear too? And her bra? with all of her clothes. And what do you do with the clothes then? We threw it on the fire. What next? Then we wait for that 
have to go down and then do it. Our mom, my mom got home at like nine o'clock and called Stephen mm -hmm. and said that I was supposed to be home at ten mm -hmm. and she asked if I had a sweater on. Huh? Which I did, and then we waited for the fire to go down, and then by that time it was probably 9.30, and he said that I should go home early for school the next day. What about the truck for Jeep? He said that he would take care of it. I think you helped him. Did you help him? He did. It's okay. Well, I helped him put the stuff in the jeep. What stuff? The knife and the gun. Okay. Where did you put the knife? In the back. In the back where the body was, you mean? Or and the gun, too? Yeah. Why did he put them in there? Did he pull me to it? How did they get back in his house? <coughs> you know? No. Well, you told us that he took the license plates off. How did you know that? It was the next day he told me he took them off. Okay. Where did he say he put them? I heard that he showed them to you. Teresa, that he had met her before? Yeah. Okay, tell me about that. What did he say about her? That she looked good and she was pretty nice. Okay. Did he tell you where she worked? No. Did he tell you how he was going to get her in the house? No. How 
aperitivo, no? So a couple days prior, he said there's this lady he knows, or tell me how he says it. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Tell me how he says it to you. That he had a girl coming over to take a picture of a van. Okay. What else? And then that he would do that to her. Well, tell me exactly what he said. That he would kill her. Did he laugh about it or what? Why did Why did he say he was going to kill her? Because he was pissed off that Jody was in jail again. Why was he pissed off that Jody was in jail? pissed off. Probably because he wasn't getting any or something like that, that's my guess. You know what I mean by that? Yeah. Okay, did he say that? If he didn't, tell me no. But did he say that? Did he make reference to that? Yeah. Is that the truth or is that a lie? The truth. Okay, and then what did he tell you? Start back with that again. That sometimes Joey would say that he didn't want to do what he wanted to do to her. So he was pissed off at her. try to grab her and touch her and that when they were just watching TV and that. Mm -hmm. What else? Sometimes he would hit her and that. Did he tell you that? Sometimes I've seen it. Okay. Did you and Steve ever have sex? No. Are you sure? If you did, it's okay. I didn't. Okay. You and Jody? No. What kind of stuff did you want to do to Jody that she wouldn't let him? again why he told you that he was going to do this to Teresa. The whole story. Because he was pissed off about Jody being in jail because the first time it was her old boyfriend and then that um uh, She had to go to jail again for drunk and driving. Because Stephen thought that she had a drinking problem. Okay, what else did he say? That he was trying to help her to stop drinking and to help her try to get her daughter back. Okay, what else? That's all I can remember. Okay, good. Did he blame Teresa for Jody being in jail? No. Then why did he pick Teresa?
At what point did you put her cell phone and camera and purse and stuff in the burn barrel? I didn't. Okay, who did? Probably Steven. Well, not probably. Who did? If you know, you need to tell me. You were over there. Steven did. Did you see him do it? Yeah. No, honestly, yes or no, did you see him do it? Don't lie about it. If you did, good. If you didn't, good. Did you see him do that? No. Why did you just tell me you did? Brendan? Mm -hmm. Why did you lie to me? Do you know? Do you remember that at all? No. Okay, then say you don't know. He gave you some money out of her purse, though. That I know. How much? I don't even remember. Did he give you money? A little bit. Brendan, who put that stuff in the burn barrel? Steven did. How do you know that? What's happening again, Brendan? Are you starting to think about what other people told you to say? Okay, now zero in on the truth again as Mark talks to you. You know what truth is and you know what a lie is. And you know what the truth is, so Mark's going to take you through some of these things again and forget about other things. Did you cut any of her hair off? No. Did you shoot her? No. Who shot her? Stephen did. Did you stab her? Yeah. By her, who's her? What's her name? Teresa. Teresa what? Alba. Did you cut her throat? No. Does anybody else know about this besides you and Stephen? No. So I think somebody else does. Who else knows about this? You told some people. Who did you tell? No one. We, we, we believe you told Travis. Did you tell Travis? Not that I remember. Okay. What about Chuck? I didn't talk to him much. What about Earl? The last time I talked to him was 
remember the first time I talked to him before my birthday, or after my birthday was on December 25th, when we were over by his house for Christmas. Okay. We had heard you were crying a lot. Is that true? It's okay. If you were, it's okay. I understand that. Yeah. Why were you crying a lot? Because after a while I was thinking that I did the wrong thing. How long did it take you to think that? Like two weeks. So the day after you were okay? A couple days after you were okay? Yeah. And then about two weeks then you started feeling bad? What did you feel bad about? that all the stuff I did was wrong. What do you think should happen to you? I'm just asking your opinion. What do you think should happen to you? That I should get a few years in jail. Anyway. to hurry up to get the phone because 
didn't answer it, so he left the key there. He left the key where? On the floor, he dropped it. How do you know that? How do you know that, man? So I was there that day. You were there the day he dropped it? And what day was that? November 2nd. Did he show you the key that day? No. Well then how do you know he dropped it? Because I've seen him go in his dresser drawer and I've seen it in his hands. bedroom with them? No, I'm sitting on the couch. You can't see the dresser from the couch. Can you? Well, before he had, he had a uh, room different. You're starting to lie again, aren't you? Because he had the bed where that window was. He had the bed where the window was when you Teresa was there? Yeah. Why did he move the stuff around? I don't know. So, could you draw out where the key was? So, well, let's just go back a bit. The key. You said you see him take it out of the dresser? Yeah. And what do you see him do next? Tell me again. That he had the key in his hand, but then he dropped it to answer the phone. And then what? And then he walked into the living room and sat down by the computer and talked to where it was on the phone. Where did he drop the key? By the dresser. And you saw that happen? Yeah. Did he ever pick it up? No. Who was he talking to on the phone? November 2nd, you were over at his house. What were you guys talking about that day? Well, he was asking me what my future plan was. Did you talk about Teresa at all? No. Um, you, just, you just killed a girl and you didn't talk about her at all? I don't believe that. You told me he was going to get rid of the key. What was he going to do with the key? Why did he go get the key that day? He was going to get rid of it. Get rid of what? The key. What was he going to do with it? Did he say? No. What did he do with the knife?
He said he'll smash it faster a day that he can do it. Do you guys talk about this when you went north? Talk about like a plane flying over or anything like that? Are you nervous about that? Sort of. Well, tell me about that. What was he nervous about? When you seen that air the airplane, he said that it must be on to him and that. The night that this happened, October 31st, Halloween night, when you were at the house, did, do you get any phone calls? No. You told me last time you did. You told me Jody called. You're not in your head. Tell me, did Jody call? Yeah. So why did you just say no? Do you want Jody to go to prison too? No. Jody knew about this? No. Why was the washing machine running that night? What did you guys put in the washing machine? I didn't know where the washing machine was going. Where was Teresa when Jody called? Do you know? No. How many times did Jody call? Like two or three. Can you draw me the way the bedroom looked that day? <coughs> after he killed her? Mm -hmm. Do you know why? No. Where did you see him drop the key? Like right here. Did you really see that? Brenda? Did you really see him drop the key? No. Why did you say that? didn't you? No. Well, you know what? This interview is finished. You lied once too many times to me. Sorry. We're done. We have a problem with that. Do you got anything else you want to say before we leave? Brenda, I, I, I want you to have a chance here. Why don't you lie about the key? I was starting to get the mind thoughts again. Tell me about those. That people were telling me not to say anything in that. Okay. How does that relate to the key? Are you trying to, are you trying to help us too much? The only way you can help us is by telling the truth, the facts. 
if you try to help us too much, that really doesn't help. If you try to help all these other people and tell you things, that doesn't help. You need to help yourself. And that's by telling, by telling the truth. You have to be a little selfish here right now. And not want to worry about what might help us and not worry about what might help other people. You have to really be selfish right now and think, what's going to help me? And I think you believe that that probably is the truth. You thought about two weeks after you, were, you, know, they, you and Stephen killed Teresa and you got feeling really bad. And you probably felt really bad about the hall box because they were looking and, and they probably knew now that their daughter was dead. That's a pretty serious thing to do, right? To kill someone. Mm -hmm. And now you get a chance to help the hall box. That's it. It's the only people, you and the hall box, that should matter right now. You can do something for them. And I think you have. You, you, you have. You, you've admitted to what you did. And you told us what Stephen did. But you can't make things up about some of the details. Because that's hurting the hall box. It's hurting you. So some of those details, yeah. Mark's going to leave, but I think I can talk him into just staying for a moment yet to give you another chance to go over a few of these details and make us believers that you're telling the truth, not what we want to hear, or not what you think we want to hear. Because that's all done and over. You've admitted to what you did. Now you need to tell us the truth about some of those details. So Teresa's family can feel good about what you've said and we can feel good and especially you. Do you understand that? Okay. Mark, would you be willing to stay just a couple more minutes? Do you want me to stay? Right Alright. I don't see it taking that long as long as you uh, just tell the truth. What about the key? Did you actually see the key? Yes. Okay, where did you see it? On the floor. How did you get it before? Stephen dropped it. And did you see him drop it? Yeah. Explain to me how you see him drop it over here if you're out here in the couch. Were you in the bedroom? No. Talking about now? talking at this time? Not on the phone, I mean. I mean, just prior to the phone? No. Like he's in the bedroom talking to you out there and stuff? No. But you're saying you were looking down there?
And you're telling me that when you told Mark that you didn't see it, is that when you were starting to think about what people told you to say and, and thinking about that type of stuff? Yeah. Okay. I can understand that. Are you now on, on the same page as us, trying to help Teresa? Yeah. And to help yourself? Because, like I said, the worst is over. You were, you have never, you've never wavered on the fact that you helped Stephen do this. And, and that's the truth. Okay, it's just some of those little details that, that had to be ironed out. When you saw Teresa in the house and up until she went to the garage, was she, did you ever see her bleeding in the house? No. Did anyone ever hit her or hurt her that you saw in the house? No. What about any injuries to Stephen? Again, the hall box are a matter here. Did Stephen hurt himself? Well, there was a scratch on his finger. Was it bleeding? Yeah. When did you first notice that scratch bleeding? When I was over there the first time. Okay. Did Stephen ever tell you how he got her tied up back there? How did he do that? I don't know. Brendan, I have a feeling he's going to tell you something like that. I mean, she, I don't believe, do you believe for any second that she just walked back there and, and allowed herself to get tied up? Then how did he say he did it? How did you get her in there? The truth for Teresa and yourself. Then he had her tied up already. Let's talk about Halloween. That was on Halloween, right? Do you know anything about Steve getting into Satan stuff? Do you ever talk about that at all? No. Did he pick Halloween for any reason? Not that old. When you were doing this planning thing a couple days before, did he talk about that? No. Did you actually plan this a couple days before? Yeah. That's true. How did he get Teresa into the house? Did you help him? No. Who helped him? No. How did he get her in there? That had to be a part of the planning, right? Or him telling you later. You're thinking too much, Brendan. Anytime you don't answer fairly quick, that means you're thinking too much. You don't need to think about the truth. Do you know how he got her in the house? No. I think you do, but we're going to something else right now. Obviously, you don't want to talk about that. Did you ride down in her Jeep to that pit where he covered it up? No. Did you ever go down there and look at it? No. What day was November 2nd? Do you know? Day you said you saw with him with the key. You know what day it was? Wednesday. Let's go back to the key for a second. Did you really see him drop that key? Yeah. And he forgets to pick it up? Is that what you told me? Mm -hmm. So that day he was getting the key out. Why was he getting the key out? He was going to get rid of it. 
Well, how could he get rid of that when he still had the truck? Did he need the key for the truck? No. No. Did you keep anything of hers at all? No. Who put the stuff in the burn barrel? Stephen did. Did you see him do that? No. How do you know he did? They told me. What did he tell you he put in the burn barrel? None. You just said that he told you he put it in the burn barrel. What did he tell you put in there? What do you mean? What kind of things did he put in the burn barrel? What kind of items? A camera. What else? Cell phone. Her purse. That's all I can remember. How much money did you guys take from her? He only gave me like a few bucks. Did he tell you where he got it? No. You know what else I heard? Mm -hmm. I heard that you guys took pictures of her. That's true, isn't it? No. Did you take the pictures? No. Did Steve take pictures? No. Did you tell somebody you took pictures? No. You told Travis that? No. What else have you told Travis? No. You told him you saw the body in the fire. Just that. Brendan, did you were you guys drinking before this at all? No. How about smoking any weed? I know you do that once in a while. No, I don't. Well, how come you and Travis talk about it a lot? He does it, but I don't do it. You don't smoke anything? You smoke cigarettes? No, I tried it. Yeah, did you try marijuana? No. Well, I heard that you smoke marijuana once in a while. No. no. To Steve? Cigars. Do you smoke cigars? What about drink? Does he drink at all? Occasionally. Okay. Were you guys drinking before this? No. Okay. How much blood did you have on you after she left that? Do you remember? True. There's like a little on my hands and my pants. What happened to the stuff that was on your hands? I washed it off. Where? Outside with the holes. Okay. What about the bed sheet? Did he do anything with the bed sheets at all? Not that I know of. Did he talk to you about DNA? About getting rid of stuff for DNA? No. So why did he use bleach in the garage? blood. I was looking for blood. <clears throat> what the house? Tell me where I should look. I don't know. Tell me where I can find anything. Give me something. On the carpet? What would be on the carpet, you think? I don't know, like skin 
Hotel wir schauen. Can you tell you that he unhooked the battery on her Jeep? Not that old. Oh. Did he talk? I mean, you guys hung out a lot, right? You and him? You were pretty big buds? Yeah. Did he talk a lot about killing people? Stay with me here. Did he talk a lot about killing people? Not really. When was the first time he had mentioned killing somebody? few days before October 31st. And how did that get brought up? Because we were watching TV and I didn't know if there was someone that killed someone. Okay. And what did he say when he saw that? That he was going to plan to kill someone and... And who did he say he was going to plan to kill? The girl I take the pictures of Kyle for the magazine. And he told you that while you were sitting at his house watching TV? Yeah. Did you say anything to him like you shouldn't do that or...? No. Did he ask you to help them? Yeah. What did he ask you to do specifically? I can't remember. Okay. Good. I can't remember. I'm glad you say that. I think you're doing better, Brandon. I really do. You still remembering uh, Teresa? And yourself, and that's why you're doing this, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. I think that's good. I really do. While you were while you went out, I asked him about uh, if if he saw any blood on Teresa or Teresa bleeding at all while she was in that house, and he said no. Um, and he came in. We were talking about his injury. Brendan, when Teresa was on the bed, where where what was on the bed? Sheets, blankets. What was on the bed? Pillows, blankets, sheets. Was she on top of all that? Yeah. Okay, was there anything else on the bed? No. The plastic or anything like that? No. Okay. Who took the, the leg irons off? Stephen did. He did. Did she have her socks on? Did Think about it now. Try and remember. Was she totally naked or did she have her socks on or anything like that? And if you can't remember or you don't know, you say that too. No what? She didn't have no socks no on. No socks on. Oh, okay. And the handcuffs didn't have anything on them? Just regular handcuffs? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you help take her clothes off? No. How did she get all her clothes off? Steven. That kind of be hard though, don't you think? Trying to tie somebody up and take their clothes off? By yourself? I think you helped, didn't you? No. So when you took her out to the garage, show me again how she was tied up with her, with her hands. Like this. Okay. All right. And she's alive and everything when he carries her out to the garage. Is that true? Yeah. Was she trying to hit him or anything? She was trying to. Yeah. 
Who held the door open for him to get out the garage or out of the house? I did. Brendan, oh, go ahead. Brendan, when you um, got home that night, did you wash any of your clothes? The truth, you don't have to think about that answer. No. Were they washed for between the time you went home that night and the time we got them? No. Wait. A few times. A few times? So you wore them again? Those jeans? Twice. And that's the best of your memory? Mm -hmm. That they were washed? Did Stephen tell you to wash them? No. I just have a few things for closing when you're done. Oh, okay. Another question again. Teresa, you are important here. That's all that matters right now. Not Stephen, you're being selfish. In our, in our first interview, you talked about helping Stephen put the hood of the car in branches and stuff like that. Did you help him do that? Don't have to think. Did you help him do that? Yes. That's what I thought. Because you wouldn't have known that otherwise. So when and how did you help him do that? Again, don't have to think, when did it happen? That night? Yeah. So you, you did go down to the pit with him that night? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Tell me about that then. Well, the way we got down there was the back way where behind this cabin and because there's a field right behind there's trees behind them there's a field there there's a way back there yeah so that's the way we took and then went down in the pit and put it right by the lake so it won't take that long to crush it it was close to the place where they crush. I think Teresa's starting to be happy with you right now. Because I think that's the truth. And then what did you do after to put the car there? We started throwing branches and car hood on it. And then what happened? Just when you saw him do some things to the car? Yeah. Tell me what. Well, he went under the hood and did some stuff, but I didn't see him. Okay. And what else? And he took the license plates off. All right. And then. Anything else they did? Not that I know. Okay. And then where'd you go from there? Then I started walking up to the house. Mm-hmm. And by the time we got back, it was close to 10 o'clock. Right. Then I went home and Talked to my mom a little bit and went to bed. Okay. On the way back up, what did you do with the plates? Again, Teresa's here. And she's thanking you for being honest. Do you know what he did with the plates? No. You don't. Is that the truth? Yes. You're saying that right in front of Teresa now? Because mm -hmm. this is your chance to help her, right? Okay. And when you went home that night around 10 o'clock, are you sure your mom was home or could you be mixing that up with another night? 
No, my mom was home. Could have been later than 10? Earlier? Or don't know? Maybe a little after 10 o'clock. Okay. The bed sheets and the bedding. Do you know whether uh, that was taken off and burned? Because the first time you said you, you, you thought it was. Again, we just want the truth. Not what other people are saying. Teresa wants the truth. The hall box aren't going to be happy with you that you did this, but they're going to be happy that you're telling the truth. You understand that, right? Okay, the sheets in the bedding, did it get destroyed or not? Yeah. Who did that? Steven. He did that? Do you see him do that? No. How do you know he did that? Because of the two days after when I was older, he said that he got rid of them. And how did he get rid of them? He burnt them. Okay. I just got a couple more things here, and then Mark might have some more um, also. We talked about um, ejaculating, right? And, and did you ever hear it called coming? When a person comes? Yeah. Yeah. Did, when, when you had sex with Teresa, did you come? No. No? Did you have an erection? Was your, was your penis hard? Yeah. Okay. Did it stay hard? While you were having sex, or did it, did it get soft again? No. No what? It stayed hard. Okay. Okay. Did you, um, did you see Stephen um, have sex with Teresa? No. For Teresa now. She needs the truth. Did you see Stephen have sex with him? No. No, okay. Now's the time to really get stuff off your chest too. Mark asked if you and Stephen ever had sex, and you said no, but had, did Stephen ever, let's talk about, you know what masturbating is? Yeah. Did you and Stephen ever masturbate together or anything like that? No. It's all right. Did he ever touch you? You don't need to think about that question. Did he ever touch you? It's all right. Now's the time. What do you mean by touching? Um, in places that you felt uncomfortable with. Sometimes. Yeah? And, and what places were those? My private and... You know, right there. Okay. And it's all right that you talk about this. This is the time to talk about it because it's important. It's important to know and for the courts and everyone else to know what you've gone through. It makes us feel a lot more for you, okay? And by private, you mean it by, by your penis? Mm -hmm. Did he touch on your penis? Well, sometimes he, was, he would try to grab it. Uh huh. And, and um, were you unclothed at that time? No. Then how did he try to grab it? Through the pants. Oh. Okay. And what did you tell him when he did that? I was trying to get rid of, get, get him off. Me. Yeah. Did you ever touch his? No. Did he ask you to? No. Did he ever show you his? No. You sure? Yes. Did he ask to see yours? No. Just try to uh, grab yours through your pants a couple times or sometimes. Yeah. Is that accurate? Yeah. Did he ever say anything when he was doing that? No. And you told him no or just trying to get him off you? Just trying to get him off me. By get him off you, was he kind of, what was he doing? Was he pushing you against or leaning against you or anything like that? Or? Well, it was like wrestling. Oh. And then he grabbed you down there. Is that all he's ever done? Yeah. Because we need to know now. It's not going to help to tell us a month from now, two months from now, two years from now. Because then they're going to go, Brendan, why didn't you tell the investigators at that time? Is there anything else he did to you sexually? No. Was Jody ever involved in anything? No.
have you told Mark everything now that, that truthfully? Yeah. I know we just got about the car. That was something you didn't tell Mark. Right? Is there anything else? The knife, the burn barrel? You've got a chance to talk right to Teresa now. Because I believe Teresa's in heaven and she can hear you. Do you believe that? Yeah. So now is your chance to talk to Teresa. And really help at least your inner self, right? Think about everything that we talked or Mark asked you about. You didn't tell us the truth about the car, and I have a feeling I know why. We knew the route that car took, and you just finally told us that. What else, if anything, is there that we need to clear up before we're done today? No. You're sure about that? Well, one, one time he beat on you. He did. When was that? Like December or something. After Teresa's disappear, or after you guys killed Teresa? Right? This last December? I think. What did he do to you? Well, uh, my, my family was going to a uh, No, wait, it, it couldn't have been this year. It was last year. Okay. It's good that you're thinking like that and you're, and you're being honest. Yeah, because so we had to go to uh, my stepdad's uh, family's because we usually waited for a group of birthdays to go and then we would go over by someone's house. It makes sense. And because there was one like in October for me and a group and my family didn't want to go so when they went for Blaine's and that I didn't want to go so they were trying to get me into the vehicle and then when they couldn't they called Steven and he tried to help but they, they couldn't do it so they left me alone and they said they decided that they weren't going to go. So I stayed outside with my shirt off because they ripped, they pulled it off when they were trying to get me into the, G, the Suburban. So after that, about 10 minutes later, my mom came over. She was looking for me and then when she heard of a noise she came over by me and she said come in the house and talk to her and tell her why I didn't want to go and I told her and then after that we went was, what was the reason you didn't want to go because I was pissed off at them for not making to not go to mine okay that makes sense. And when you say Steven beat on you, was it when they were trying to get you in the car or was it after that? Well, they were trying to get me off the ground because mm, there was my mom, Blaine, Brian, and Bobby, and Steven trying to get me into the suburban. But when they couldn't do that because it was really hard for them to get me up. So pretty strong? <laughs> huh? You're pretty strong? No, I just like to squirm a lot. <laughs> okay. And then when they couldn't do that, Steven, he dropped me and then he started punching me in that. Where was he punching you? Like in the face and the arms. Did he lose his temper? Is that what happened? Yeah. Was he swearing at you and stuff? No. No? Was your mom there when Stephen was hitting you in the face? Yeah. What did she do? She told him to stop. Okay. Did he cause you to bleed at all? No, he just gave me a few bruises. Would, would, would it be fair to, to say that in your mind was Stephen out of control? Yeah. Yeah, he lost his temper. Did he look at all any time the night that you were with Teresa? Was he like that at any time that night? 
No, you didn't see him like that that night. No. Was he calm most of the night with her, all the night with Teresa? What does that mean? Was he relaxed, calm, easygoing? Or was he more tense, um, agitated, angry? Well, he was tense. But he never got to, did he ever get to the point where he was real angry or lost his temper? Mm -hmm. Like that day that he hit you? No. Okay. Is there anything else? Again, you know, this is pretty much probably going to be your last time. And, and I think we got Teresa's attention, and by getting her attention with what you're saying, we got the whole family's attention, they're going to know. Eventually this is all going to come out, and they're going to know what you did for her after you did a very, 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 very bad thing to her. But now you're trying to make up for that, I think. I truly believe that. So we're going to give you an opportunity right now again. Is there anything else? You know all the stuff you've told us. Um, even the little things are important to us. Whether it's a, a pair of underwear that you know went somewhere or something happened to it that if there was. The, the hair cutting thing. We got to revisit that because we never did get that clear. For Teresa, what, did, you cut, did anyone cut her hair off that night? No. Where did you get that from? And it seems kind of strange that we just all of a sudden told her she could cut her hair off. Where'd you get that from? If it's not true. I don't know, I was just guessing. Why? Did you think that was something we wanted to hear? Brendan did, did someone cut her hair off that night, truthfully, for Teresa? No. Okay. And you're, you're out, look at me, you're absolutely positive? Okay, he didn't do it and he didn't tell you to do it. Okay. Who else, who was all involved, Brendan? Look at me once too. Just look at me and tell me who was all involved in that night. Just me and Stephen. Just you and Stephen. And you and Stephen both were involved in killing her? Did Steve ever tell you that he killed anybody else? talk about things like that a lot? No. Did you, um, what did, what did you all tell Blaine about this? Because Blaine is, I, I've, Mark and I have both heard from a pretty good source that Blaine is, he's kind of hurting right now, kind of like you were. Depressed. Losing um, weight losing weight, stuff like that. Something's bothering him. Um, and and uh, we, we, we want to know, is he involved it to any amount of, or degree? Because then he needs help. Or did you tell him some of these things that, that's bothering him, that he know in the back of his mind you had told him, and, and that's bothering him, that's hurting him. He can't get in trouble for that, per se. He should have told us if he knows, and he could get get in some trouble for that, but if he wasn't involved. Again, you don't have to think about that. Did, he, did you tell Blaine some things? Because we wanted, number one, try and get him some help. No. Did you tell anybody? You don't have to think about that either. Did you tell anybody? Just a little bit to Travis. What about to Kayla? Just that one day when I was over there for a birthday party for her friend, that uh, when they were in their room and I was sitting by the door, mm -hmm. she came out and she wanted to talk to me and then and she asked me why I was so sad and then I told her why and then after that everybody else came out like. Travis and his, his cousin and a friend and after a while I had to get up and 
I went into Marie's room for a little bit. And then they came in and they asked me if they were feeling bad for me. Some good friends. Did, what did you tell uh, Kayla when she asked you what was wrong? Well, tell us what you told her that you remember. That I was sorry for what I did and... Didn't she ask you what you meant? Did what? Did you tell her some parts of this? No. And did she ask you what you meant when you said you were sorry for what you did? A little bit. And I think you told her a little bit because we've talked to Kayla. What did you tell her? If you remember. No, I can't remember. Okay. Did you know about Steve and Marie having sex? Well, I heard that they were doing stuff. Where'd you heard that from? From her. She told you? What did she tell you? That Steven was trying to come on to her. But what you and Marie? Did you ever have sex before you had it with Teresa? No. It's all right. That was the first time? Mm-hmm. Did you ever fool around with a girl? Not sex, but just fool around? No. Is there anything on your computer that we should know about? Have you talked to anybody about this online? Not really. What do you mean, not really? I would ask them a question in there. Like what kind of question? Like if they like Stephen and then You would ask people that? Why would you ask people that? Why well, ask Marie that and Travis that? Okay. What was your screen name? For what? MSN for uh, chat rooms and stuff. Email type name. Well, some people said that I spelt it wrong, but I think I did after a while. Well, what was it? It's all right. <laughs> but I don't want to say the first word. Spell it. N-I-T-E-R. And then the rest of it was what? For life. Okay. What does that mean? That, that I didn't have no problems with black people. You feeling pretty relaxed now? You're looking a lot more relaxed. You're actually looking at us now and saw a couple actual smiles. Can I get you a soda or water or something? Mm -hmm. Sure. Bathroom? Mm -hmm. You want to give us a couple minutes then? We'll be right back. All right, you relax, all right? <clears throat>
Sure, I can't get you something, huh? All right. Tom's just going to be back in a second, okay? Um, would you be willing to draw out which route you took with her Jeep? Think you could do that? All right. I'll give you this again. We'll just say, you know, you probably want to draw like Steve's trailer, your house. You know, mom and dad's, Chucky's, you know, and then get the pits over here and, you know, whichever route you took. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right. Ugh, it's getting warm in here, isn't it? Should I draw a fence? Yeah, if you want to, just draw a straight line or whatever. What's that mean? Mm -hmm. What's in that fence? That's the um. The pump bot. Yeah. Should I draw the like, trees over here? Just put an X. You can put X's for trees. Oh, yeah. Hang on just a second. Those are trees right along Stevens. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is get mine. trees here and there's a field. Right. If you have to show kind of a field there, it's fine. We can tape that together. If you want to just say that this is a field, make it a short field, that's fine too. I just wanted to give you enough room. Mm -hmm. Do I have to draw the conveyor belt or whatever? Yeah, if you could put that in there, that'd be good. Anything, show us with a yeah, finger or whatever. Better outside, right here. Okay. See, th this is just a field here you drove through? Okay. Did he go all the way along the other side of the field and down this road back in here at Dirt Road? Mm -hmm. He went right alongside the trees there? Mm -hmm. Is there a path there or something? Yeah. So where's Radon's pit? Like right, right over here, right here, right there. Where was it parked then when you parked it? The RAV4, the, right? The Jeep, yeah. When you drove it down here, where did you park it? Like right here. Okay, let's put an X there. And which way was it facing? That way. Do you remember? Do you remember? No. 
Okay, don't guess then. Just say you don't remember. You don't remember which way it was facing. Okay. Remember this? Here's Stephen, right? Is that his garage? Mm -hmm. and if you go out here on the on the frontage road or the, the road that comes down, there's that field, and we know about that. If you go past that field, do you remember do you know about the road that goes back in here and then there's some like hunting cabins back in here? Yeah. That's is that the road you went? No. Nope. You went along this little um there's a berm kinda, right? Uh -huh. A ledge, and then on the other side is the pit, the, the gravel pit, and this side is the salvage yard. Yeah. And you went right along that thing. Yeah. Oh. And then down here, you're able to get off of that thing and get into the yard, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'll watch you sign that and put today's date on it. Okay. So. Oh. 513.06. I just got one question for you, Brandon. Yeah. Did you guys take any of the bones out of that burn pile? I didn't. All right. How about Steve? Not that I know. Kind of, kind of a, a difficult question again, in, in a sense. Uh, but again, I think if you 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 feel a lot better because of you know that that Teresa is feeling a lot better what you're doing. When when you saw her, and, and that whole night, every time you saw her, did you see any bruises or red marks on her, or anything where where she might have been grabbed, twisted, punched, or anything like that? No. That you can't remember that. Because the reason I'm asking that is if, if Stephen were to try and get someone in, into a position that he had ultimately got her in, I don't think she's going to go along with the program. Do you agree with that? So there's probably some physical altercation going on. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you don't recall seeing any of that? Mm -hmm. Is everything at this point in time you told us the truth as you know it? Yeah. Is something real quick. Was she she was a kind of fighter, huh? She would fight a little bit. Anything you want to say to Teresa or her family right now? Since you're being taped. Mm -mm. No. Okay. Just that I'm sorry. Okay. That's all I have. Mark mentioned talking to your mom about this and being truthful with her now, okay? If you're truly sorry to the hall box, you'll, be, you'll tell your mother the truth about this, okay? Are you going to do that? Yeah. When are you going to do that? Tonight. Probably be a good idea before we tell her. That'd be the right thing to do. Your mom deserves to know. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, Brendan. Thank you. We'll get the guard back in to take you back right in time for lunch. I'll stay here with them. All right. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I think we'll leave that door open. It's getting hot in here. Air in here. Yeah. You hot? All right. We're not gonna have to come back again, are we? All right. Thank you. Thanks.
time did they give you lunch usually up there, Brendan? A little past 11.30. Oh, I'm sure they saved you, right? I imagine. So be honest with your mom too, okay? Tell her exactly what you told us. So then she can quit blaming us for everything, all right? Because once she sees the tape, she's going to know anyway. And just like I told you with your attorneys, that's that's the only way she can help you too, is if she knows the truth. Because then she knows what type of help to try and get you. At first, my mom was really pissed off at my attorney. Really? Why is that? Because, like, four weeks ago, I called him and I left an, an, um, an answer machine. A message on his answer machine, but he never did what I told him to. Because I was giving him permission to talk to my mom about what he's going to be doing in that. Okay. Is that better? I mean, your attorney talks to you now, doesn't he, and stuff? He talks to me, but oh. he don't talk to my mom. Have you told him that he can tell your mom stuff? I just left that message on his answer oh. machine. Okay. If you want your mom to know, you're going to have to tell him that. Tell him directly, don't leave messages. Okay? Because mm -hmm. he is your attorney, not your mom's. And you can't disclose stuff to mom that he talks about with you unless you tell him directly that he can. Okay? So make sure you do that. Kind of like you told him that you wanted to talk with us. That's the only way that we could do that. We're all set. Let me to see our double lock them? No, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hang in there, okay? You guys buy much? Nope. We offered. All right. Take care of that sound. I'm going to shut that tape machine off. Yes. Yeah.